Hi students, let's look at this question here which is on sketching of an odd function and also a periodic function here. So curve fx is given by 0, 0 to 3. So this is defined for the domain 0 and inclusive of 3. I mean not inclusive of 3. This one below is given that f is an odd function. Odd function. Okay. Odd function, we're going to explain a bit. Um, basically, this is an odd function. So what does it mean? f minus x equals a negative fx. Okay. So what we need to understand is essentially if I want to, okay, basically I can rewrite this as fx equals to negative f minus x. What this means is if I have y equals to fx, all right, then I can just replace x with minus x. Then this will be y equals to f negative x. Then after which I can replace y with negative y. Then this will give us um, y equals to negative f and this will also give us fx okay so this is meaning to say the shape of this graph here will be equal to the same shape as this graph here so if you think about it the translation transformation that we're looking at is actually a reflection about the y-axis and reflection about the x-axis okay Basically, what it meant is that if I were to reflect this graph over the y-axis and reflect it about the x-axis, I will still get the same graph. Okay, so to give you an illustration, you just use the applet here, um, GeoGebra app, um, written by the author Ken. So uh, this is an interesting one. Essentially, what we want is to reflect the x-axis. Uh, this is reflecting the x-axis, then reflecting about the y-axis. Okay. So what what um what do you call it? What a uh, odd function word entails is actually. If you were to reflect and reflect about the y-axis, it should just match it. So you just rotate it, basically 180, um, around the curve. So this is a sine curve. Not every curve. Okay, so this is a uh, given. Uh, there, there are a few odd functions you can select here. So you can also select, for example, like this over here. Okay, as long as the, as long as you rotate 180 degrees, about the origin and it matches the original curve that will be an odd function okay so you could have like functions like this as well when you rotate uh, as long as it matches okay so but things which are not odd functions are functions like that because you, you can imagine if you rotate this it will never um, match the original curve so this is not an odd function and after which we have got lawn is also not an odd function because if you rotate it it will not match the original curve okay so that is the idea of our function just rotate in the the middle of it then you get back so in this case here if you rotate this guy here you can imagine that this is this shape here all right but that's that's besides it uh so we could draw the first thing then this will just tell you that this repeats this is a repeating every six units because uh this is what we do in functions okay so this guy is just repeat every six units Okay, so essentially, if if say I have f2, f2 will just means that f2 here is also f2 plus 6, which is f8. It okay, means uh, y value of f2 will be equal to y value of f8. Later, we'll talk about that. Uh, but it also means that this will be equal to f10 and so on. Right, so then you can also be like, just remember that if you can plus 2, you could also minus 2. Uh, minus, uh, you can plus 6, you can also minus 6 here. So this will be f negative 4 as well. Okay, so you just repeat every six units. So how do we draw this graph here? So this is the graph that we're looking at y equals fx. Just remember that uh, draw to scale. Use your ruler and draw to scale. So if you want to draw firstly the odd function first, uh, the odd function will mean that we reflect this and then we rotate, okay? Uh, reflect by y axis. So uh, reflect here, then reflect here. So this is the shape that we're looking for or function. So I'm just extend this um, here, okay? So the odd function, the function that I'll get is something like that. But the problem now is that we need to draw from negative 3 to less than 6 here. Uh, so meaning to say I need to extend this um, domain here. Okay. So the domain is negative 3 here to 6 which is here. So I think the main thing is to understand how do you draw this graph here uh, in, in repeated unit of 6, right? So this guy here, uh, 6, this is a 6 unit. Okay, so you just copy paste this. When you say f, 
fx plus 6 is equal to fx. It just means that we, we just copy this one repeating unit every six times. So you when you, you come over this side here, it will just be like repeating here. Just draw this guy. And draw this going up. Okay, so these three units. Because the domain specified here is from negative 3 to uh, at most 6. So it's this guy here. So I'm going to draw it. All right. So this um this is six units. So this is three units. So I, what I need to do is um I'm gonna just copy these three units over here. Okay. So that's about it. So that's how you sketch this graph here, where is it odd and also it repeats every six is six units. So if you have any questions at all, please do let us know. And I'll see you in the next question.